Hey guys, uh, welcome to Canvas. I'm your host Cole Gibbs. Uh, we're here live at the Mines of Spain. Uh, we're going to talk about the mines a little bit later, but first up today we have a piece by Mike Harlovic, one of our staff members. Take a look. Yeah. Welcome back. Uh, we're here overlooking the Mississippi River. Now this is one of the higher points of the Mines of Spain. And the Mines of Spain has a very colorful history that dates back before Julian Dubuque to the Meskwaki Indians. The village was located at the mouth of Catfish Creek. From this site, the Meskwaki carried on a fur trade with the French voyagers. They also worked the lead mines for many decades dating back to before the Revolutionary War. Julian Dubuque is credited as being the first European to settle on what now known as Iowa in 1788. In 1796, Dubuque received a land grant from the governor of Spain, who had resided in New Orleans at the time. The grant gave permission to Julian Dubuque to work the land that was owned by Spain and specified the 198-mile area to be named the Mines of Spain. We'll be back just after this. I find inspiration all around me from those that push me to think and to grow. To move forward, because to stand still is to fall behind. That's not my plan. I'm just getting started. My life is just beginning. My major is inspiration. My name is Jackson Breitbach. I live in Dubuque, Iowa. And this is my first song for you. And I know that one day I'm gonna have one too. Uh, one of my favorite genres of music is um, alternative folk, which is about kind of a more modern rendition of uh, acoustic music today. And I knew I won't see her again. Some of my favorite artists play that genre and um, have taken it places that I couldn't even imagine. Um, most of the songs that I perform are of that genre. And uh, the one that I'm going to perform tonight I wrote. And uh, I don't really have a title at this point. Um, but uh, I guess here it is. Met you, standing half 
thought that came to mind Is she alone tonight And would she want to talk to me And throughout that week She was hard to see without me Smiling at her side Welcome back. We want to thank Mohit for that piece on Jackson Breitbach. Next up, director Josh Slove and actress Kate Melgrew came to the Mind Frame Theater in Dubuque to show off their latest movie, The Best and the Brightest. Take a look. Uh, and I live in New York. These people exist. <laughs> Dubuque-born actress Kate Mulgrew came back to the hometown to screen her upcoming comedy film, The Best and the Brightest, at the Mind Frame Theater last weekend. To go home to your battery-powered friends. The director and co-writer of the film, Josh Silov, was also present at the show and talked to the audience after the film show. We have a five-year-old daughter and we're looking to get her into kindergarten this fall. <laughs> On planet Earth. That's a good one. And it's about a couple that moves to New York City from Delaware and they encounter the difficulty of getting their kid into a private kindergarten on the Upper East Side, which is sort of a, a what, do you, what do you call it, an uptown problem. Back to Silov, and the actor said that they were glad to see a great response from the DB community, especially for an R-rated film. The story is inspired by Silov's and his friends' own problem of getting their kids into private schools in New York City. The writers also wanted to get a good farce, so they brought the ideas together to write the story. Mulgrew's character in the film is nameless. Kate Mulgrew uh, plays the player's wife. Responding to questions about characters of the film, Mulgrew said, You know, improvisation in film, I think, is, is, is very hard. Um, if it's not well scripted, uh, it can fall apart very easily. Neil Patrick Harris, Bonnie Somerville, and Amy Sedaris are some of the other actors in the film. The movie is R-rated and set to release in June this summer. Shall we say a, a, a sexy sort of plot twist? Actor Mulgrew has been Mary Ryan on the TV series Ryan's Hope that aired from 1975 to 1989 and also Captain Janeway in Star Trek Voyager among other notable roles. For Canvas, this is Raj. Next up, we have our very own Nick Lab, who went to the IVA exhibition to see what Loris College artwork looks like. Take a look. Art can be shown in many different ways, which is probably why the IVA exhibition at Loris has grown in popularity each and every year. In its sixth year at Loris, the IVA exhibition has proved to be one of the biggest events on campus, with self-portraits, electronic art, unique sculptures, and even videos the artwork at the IVA exhibition had a creative feel of its own. As with every exhibition, there were some students who won awards for their work. Christy Olberding, a senior IVA major, describes the experience of creating art. You know, it's always just a matter of um, making art and creating and um, just continuing to develop a portfolio. This year it's been more about my own personal portfolio since I'm a senior and I'm going to be graduating. So it was less, I would say, classwork and more of my own personal works that I wanted to enter this year. Ted Whitman, a junior IVA major, made something a little different than most of the artists. I made two works. One was a video installation and the other one was a multimedia uh, canvas piece. And it was actually a, a photo of Gandhi that I like manipulated and used different elements like painting and a collage to make his image. 
From self-portraits to creative videos, the 6th annual IVA exhibition was another great success. Reporting for Canvas, I'm Nick Glab. Yeah, hey man, I don't really see anything wrong with your pipes. What's that in your hand? Why do you keep coming close to me? Dude, get away from me. Hey, what's up? With an increase of abductions in the Midwest, police tell males 20 to 25 to be on high alert and look out for suspicious activity. For Channel 17 News, I'm Caitlin Gerken. That's our show for tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Before we let you go, we have a performance from Carrie Nation and the Speakeasies. Thanks for tuning in.